Good morning and welcome again to our daily devotion insight. And this morning I want to share with you God tests before He entrusts. Uh, God tests or tests before He entrusts. 1 Peter 4, verse 19 says this Those who suffer according to God's will should commit themselves to their faithful Creator and continue to do good. You know, God seldom uses anyone unless he puts that person through a, the test of suffering and adversity. You know, Jesus, you, we all remember, he began his ministry in the wilderness of temptation, but it culminated in the Garden of Gethsemane. And then on the Easter morning, he rose again. So sometimes we, uh, we need to tell ourselves that when we go through tests and afflictions, there are greater uh, value that will come out of it. Okay, it says here, there was an ancient proverb that says, he who is born in the fire will not fade in the sun. He who is born in the fire will not fade in the sun. You know, if God lets us, if God allows us, if God so allows us to go through suffering in the fire of adversary, we must depend on it. Meaning that He's only making sure that we will not fade in the sun of smaller difficulties. You know, has life broken you by suffering and affliction? Has life broken you by suffering and affliction? Are you feeling weakened and drained by the things that have happened to you lately? You know, take hold of the principle that we are learning today that God will promise us, you know, to be able to go through whatever circumstances that is breaking you and I. Go through this. Maybe sometimes to the point of, you know, really, you know, God, uh, I, how, when is it enough? When is it going to be over? But it does mean that when we draw ourselves near to Him, you know, when we draw ourselves to God, we will say, God, you are my strength. You are my refuge. You know, and sometimes maybe you may say, let me draw your attention to maybe a certain text that is actually found in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 12. In the Philips translation, it says, although they may in the usual way slander you as evildoers, yet when disasters come, they may glorify God when they see how well you Product or conduct yourselves. So meaning what? Make no mistake about it. The world is watching us. How we as Christians react to suffering. What do they see? People who struggle, you know, or in continual weakness or people who have been made strong at the broken places. You know, are we struggling, 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 keep on struggling or are we people who have been made strong? At the broken places okay so let us be reminded that god will test us huh, before he entrusts us i'm sure there are many things that god will want to continue to do in our lives through our lives and sometimes we might have to go through difficulties we might have to go through suffering affliction but let this be our prayer this morning oh father i'm one of your followers but so often i'm afraid to follow you all the way Yet I see that your way is right. Nothing else is right. I know you will stand by me. Help me to stand by you. For Jesus' sake. Amen. Amen. May you have a great day. Continue to stand by God as he will stand by you. Amen.